It's six o'clock on Saturday, the 11th of January, 2020. Good evening and thank you for tuning into the English edition of Aura News. My name is Oliver, bringing you the only daily update of the local Albanian news translated into English. The decision from March 26 to the 27th, the, Euro the European Council will make a decision on the issue of negotiations with Albania and Northern Macedonia. Union leaders will discuss whether or not to give the green light to our country or demand that their priority be the new enlargement methodology required by France. For this reason, the EU Enlargement Commissioner Oliver van der Hulle, has held a series of meetings with critical union representatives regarding enlargement. He has discussed with the French Prime Minister and with the Dutch Foreign Minister on the new enlargement methodology and the opening of negotiations with Albania and Northern Macedonia. Following these meetings, one of the countries skeptical of the Tirana office, the Netherlands, has asked Albanian institutions for concrete results in the fight against organized crime and corruption. The president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, said on Friday that it was now the Union's responsibility to hold its own in the face of the Western Balkans. According to her, the rules should not change, but the new methodology and negotiations for Tirana and Skopje should move in parallel. But on the other hand, one of Albania's main supporters at the end of 2019, the German Bundestag, urged the country to conclude electoral reform and make the Constitutional Court operational before the Intergovernmental Conference. Despite the demands by the Germans, the institution has remained in a political stalemate between the majority and the president and therefore has ended in Venice. Meanwhile, internationals are seeking political consensus on the electoral reform and therefore the adoption of the amendment is stalling because on one hand, the DP does not choose to sit at the special commission table, while on the other hand, the parliamentary opposition curtails its vote on changing the system. Following the council meeting where Albania expects a positive response, the EU will face the leaders of the six Western Balkan countries in Zagreb this coming May. One of the three mayors of the Leja district is being vetted by the Democratic Party for allegedly breaking the decriminalization law. From Leja, the Secretary General of the Democratic Party, Gazben Barthi, did not reveal any names but said he had information that one of the local leaders has had problems with the law. As soon as it's proven that there are problems with the decriminalization law, the facts will be made public. I would like to confirm that one of the mayors of the Leja district is in the process of verification by the relevant DP department. The three local leaders of this district are Pierre Andreu, Malina Tsara, and Drej Deda. Barthi also focused on the growing crime situation in the country, which he said has been going on for years as a result of linking politics to crime. Gazman Barthi made the statements during a meeting with the Democratic Party structures in Leja as part of opposition action. The Turkish government will assist Albania by building 500 new houses in the town of Lach after the destruction by the November 26 earthquake. The agreement was signed on Saturday between the Minister for Reconstruction, Arben Ametay, and the Turkish Minister, Murat Kurum. The Turkish Minister indicated that the construction of housing in the Lach area is a message from President Erdogan as he urged the government to hand over the land so as to begin construction. We want to help the Albanian brothers overcome this natural disaster as soon as possible. We hope that by January, the land for construction of 500 houses will be ready. The housing complex will be built according to all Albanian standards and traditions and with all the necessary infrastructure for community services. Prime Minister Eddie Rama emphasized that the construction of new housing in Lach will put an end to the floods in the Lach area and will be considered public infrastructure work. The construction of 500 houses in the Lach area is expected to be completed by July of this year. In the first meeting of this year with the leaders of the 12th districts, Interior Minister Sander Leshai listed two priorities that the Ministry of Interior and the police will focus on this year, namely the fight against organized crime and road safety. Leshai said that four new police units are planned to be set up and the fight against organized crime and the road safety were set by Minister Leshai as priorities for the previous 2019 year. During an analysis with the 12 local police directorates and central leaders, Leshai declared that the package known as Kucha Ku would be soon prepared. The police have a duty to go and knock on the door, tell them, you have been in jail for 10 years for drug trafficking? Yes, you got this hotel here too. Now the hotel is sequestered, surrounded by tape, and you have to go to the court and prove it's yours. 
The Interior Minister has also warned of a tougher road code to prevent any more fatal accidents. Poor road safety kills more people than organized crime, five times more. What are we going to do? We're going to change the road code, toughen measures, tighten controls, modernize equipment, and fight hard for employee integrity. He added that in order to successfully deal with the new developments and the phenomena of crime, four special units will be set up for the state police with the best experts on hand. A year after the DP and SMI submitted their mandates to the Assembly in protest against the Rama government, no political agreement has been reached to bring the parties to sit at the table. But for the leader of the SMI, Monica Kruemavi, the situation playing out in the country is not solved through just an agreement. She says it's necessary to unite all Albanians so as to rebuild the Albania that was destroyed by Eddie Rama. Monica Kruemavi, out of Elbasan, is being connected to her own left-wing governmental scandals with four opposition-denounced mayors linked to crime, the latest being the mayor of Malacastra. According to her, Eddie Rama's government has displayed complete irresponsibility in managing the post-earthquake situation in Duras, Tirana and Leja. The SMI leader considers the Balkan ministries and Eddie Rama's collaboration with Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic as the betrayal of the Albanian nation. From Elbasan, I appeal not only to Eddie Rama, but to Eddie Rama's sponsors too. Even with all your treachery and knives in the backs of Kosovo and Albania. Love your country, otherwise no one else will love you and you will be left without a homeland and a religion, she said. Kuremadi promised that the opposition is ready to assume all responsibility for the implementation of reforms along with Albania's integration process into the EU. The Duras Prosecutor's Office has launched an investigation into the fire that broke out at the Duras Regional Hospital shortly after midnight on Friday. The fire began shortly after midnight today in the orthopedic department of the Duras Hospital. It then engulfed the pavilion's electrical booths and spread from the first floor to the other floors. The event caused panic among patients and their families and even medical staff. The flames also engulfed the cardiolo cardiology ward. The director of Duras Hospital, Nadir Yani, stated that there may have been about 100 patients in the hospital at the time. There has been a situation which has rightly concerned many people. There was black smoke billowing throughout, which made it impossible to remain in the building. In the meantime, the police spoke about five patients suffering from smoke inhalation. As a result of the fire, the five patients were taken to the trauma hospital in Tirana for specialized treatment and are out of danger, police said. Emergency crews were evacuated immediately while firefighters and police were at the scene to find out how the fire got started. Patients hospitalized in these wards were accommodated in other facilities too. From the first investigative actions, it turns out that the cause of the fire came as a result of the fire involving four electrical cabins, starting on the first floor and moving up to the fourth floor, the Duras police informed. The investigative team led by the prosecution is continuing its work to fully clarify the cause of the fire which has been at the center of discussions. Since its construction, the hospital has been involved in four different fires and even suffered damage from the November 26th earthquake. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you so much for watching our English edition this evening. And be sure to join us again every Monday to Saturday at 6 p.m. for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Vora News, thank you and have a great weekend.